Hey, 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 Mike here. Um, so today we are going to talk about a, a few new features uh, in System Sculpt. So one of them is the new embeddings functionality that we have regarding things like Surge and how it interacts with your vault and how you're able to utilize it in your chat view. So it's really, really nice. Let's take a look. So if, uh, you know, I have it hotkeyed, of course. I love my hotkeys. So I do Command Shift F for find, um, you know, instead of like search. I have my Command Shift S to open up my settings, as you can see here, boom, in my settings. So anyway, Command Shift F for find, that's how I, uh, is it called mnemonic memory, right? That's how I memorize it mnemonically. Um, anyway, funny word, mnemonic, but uh, funnily spelled too. So if we search here, let's say I search, um, and, and that's the nice thing about this, by the way, there, there are two types of searches. So there's um, what's called a vector search. So we could type in something like uh, orange juice, for example, I could search for that. And there's a vector search, right? And then there's a lexical search. So lexical means that it finds it like literally in the text. So you can see, I, I should probably fix the little highlighting here, but in my current theme here, it's highlighting it black, okay? Um, but yeah, you can see that there are two types of results, right? Lexical and vector. You can also search for things that are a little more open-ended. So you can ask more, you know, questiony type of things, such as, um, what was the diet plan I was working on to go beast mode, like Goggins? And you can, you know, ask it this kind of query, and it'll show you the closest matches. Um, obviously, you know, this is very different from your typical search because, I mean, if you searched this, you're not going to find anything because this piece of text doesn't exist anywhere within my vault. However, if you do it, that's why there are no like lexical uh, matches, by the way. However, because I'm able to do this kind of query search with vector base, uh, vector database, that's local, by the way, because right now we're doing it through OpenAI embeddings, which you need to supply the key for. However, later this week, um, for the lifetime license members, uh, I'm going to be basically um, allowing them to use embeddings or, or you know, create embeddings. Uh, naturally through the System Sculpt API. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a, a really nice one. And again, with the lifetime li uh, license, uh, this is the last week. Uh, this is really the last week because, you know, I've been kind of putting it off because I'm really trying to perfect this embeddings thing. So you can see the countdown here. What's the countdown at? Six days and 30 minutes. I mean, time's ticking because the reason um, we are going to transition from this price point, which is right now 249 to 499. And you may be thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Um, it's not because it's number one, it's a lifetime license. Number two, it's something that I'm you know going to be working on, not, not for another year, not for another two years, but another minimum 10 year, 10, 20, 30, for the rest of my life, really. I love this brand. I love what it's all about, yada, yada, yada. Not to get sentimental here, but yeah, I'm just really into it. And I really want to build things up and I want to get past Obsidian at a certain point, right? Um, Obsidian is always going to be like the base data center, right? Our, our second brain, but we're really going to branch out these next few years. So I'm super excited for that. And that is what, uh, you know, this life, lifetime license is for. And that's why the price is going to increase because now we're not only offering the chat models and the recording and the automatic transcription or, you know, transcription capabilities, right? Um, the document processing, that's a big one. A lot of people are using that being able to just flawlessly, and I'll make a video on that, uh, convert documents in a matter of seconds, extract all the images. And, and you know, anyway, I'm not trying to, you know, go into a sales pitch here, but you get you get what I'm saying here. I'm, I'm, the reason I'm so passionate about this is because the price is going to double. So do with that information what you will, right? Anyway, uh, back to this. So yeah, you can see, you know, I, I typed in what's the diet plan, blah, blah, and it'll show me my chats that I've been, you know, talking about this specific topic with, but also obviously my notes, which I have right here, I can click in, I can click on this, and it'll show me like my diet plan with my grocery list. And not only that, did you just see what happened on the sidebar there? Did you did you catch that? Now, I have this little cool similar notes panel, okay? And I have all of these related notes in the same ballpark. I have my journal entries, I'm not going to hover over those. But uh, you get you get what I'm saying. Like there are also chat messages about this. Oop, 
Let's see. Uh oh, yeah, that that's a chat message I had about uh, questions regarding my me and my wife's um, raspy throats. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Like you get to see all of the embedded notes that have to do with the current note that you're in. And then if I click into one of these notes, let's let's say I click into like um, you know, this one about ADHD, right? So let's click into that. I'm now in this note, but then again, it refreshes the similar notes. So I'm always consistently being able to see similar notes and you can see the percent matches of those similar notes. And I mean, it's just so nice because I can very easily now traverse my entire vault. And if I'm thinking about, you know what, maybe not any of these notes are, are really ringing a bell for me. I have an extra search term to kind of add into the mix. I can type that in here, hit search, and it'll show me those perfect results the same way that I'm able to do it right here. So that's amazing. Another another huge amazing thing is this also works in here, in the chat, regular chat. So again, using this kind of orange juice example, because I don't want to show too much of my vault. Um, so yeah, let, let's see. Uh, what do you know about orange juice? So again, uh, right now there's, there are no files in the context. I'm using uh, R1 from DeepSeek right now as my model, so that's why you're seeing reasoning tokens there. But there are no files in my context window, right? Um, and then these files on the side are still actually loaded from the previous chat. And the reason you'll see in just a second is because this uh, sidebar hasn't refreshed yet because the response from the agent hasn't finished yet. But the moment it finishes, it's gonna refresh the, do you like how I'm doing the Macarena here, the Macarena? Um, it's going to now refresh, well, I guess I have to manually refresh, uh, and boom, uh, it shows me all of the search results, again, against my own vault, regarding whatever topic I'm talking about in here. And now, now the really amazing part is I can drag in notes from here. Now, you see where I'm going with this? Remember how we've been talking about auto context and, and you know adding context files into our chats in an automatic way? We're almost there, we're almost there. I really, I really don't want to implement a solution that is half-assed, for lack of a better term. A lot, I see a lot of plugins out there now um, that are trying to do very cool things, but they're very still very, very finicky and you know, I just want to make sure that with such an important part, such an important piece uh, to add into your day-to-day uh, -day operations, I want to make sure that it really works well. So that's why this part is still manual, where you have to watch this, drag in, right? You can now drag in the results into here, and it'll add them to your context file. So now you have, let's see what this one's about. Um, whether outside, anyway, yeah, so that's another separate chat. So now we have two chats that are added into our context from our similar notes. And now I can say, what are our context files about? And again, R1 is sometimes really finicky, um, but I like to use, I like to see how the how it's uh, thinking, right? So that's why I use it as my main driver. But anyway, um, you can see now that it's reasoning and it's trying to, you know, deduce and you can see that it is factoring in the two files because it just named the file names right orange juice MD, and then the dated uh, file as well and so here it is so it's talking about and you see how it's updating in the sidebar not updated again and so look I'm getting a little too excited here but now as you chat with your chat right you're always consistently refreshing and rebuilding and seeing the latest notes, right, that are able to be added into your context window if they're necessary, right? And so it's kind of this beautiful back and forth that soon will be automated, right, in the next few days. Uh, if you so choose to do so, I'm, I'm sure I'll have like an option added in where it's like automatically add context as you chat with your note. Um, but anyway, that's why I'm really pushing this license here because, yeah, this price, this is the last week. I've been extending it week by week by week. This is the last chance, okay? Then it's 500. Then you're gonna be stuck with um, either a monthly fee that's gonna increase, you know, ah, man, I really don't wanna do that, right? But with everything that I'm starting to offer and, and everything that's kind of 
very much automated and, and I'm using the highest quality tools and models and and vector algorithms, yada, 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 right? With all of that in mind, at the end of the day, what's the most important to me? Well, your experience. So yeah, that's why I love the, um, if you haven't checked it out yet, the feedback page, you can take a look at the feedback. It is popping. I mean, it is popping. We have, look, I have so much unchecked stuff that I still need to go through. Um, but people are really voting, you know, adding in their own kind of things. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And we're just knocking all of this out. So check things out. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, look into, and this is live, by the way. You can utilize this right now um, via System Sculpt. So yeah, in the link below, uh, in the details, uh, the first link is going to be just the lifetime license, then it's going to be the monthly subscription license. And yeah, just hit me up. By the way, you get it automatically. You get, let me show you how it looks like actually. If you go into your dashboard and then you hop into your My Resources, of course, given that you own a license, Boom, you're just gonna have it right away. So you buy it, you get the license, you copy it, okay? You click copy, this little copy button. You hop in here, okay? You go into your settings. You go into System Sculpt AI, of course. And then you just, whoops, I'm gonna replace that key. Uh, and then, yeah, you just turn it on and boom, you have it. You get your credits, you get this, you get that, and you get to use everything right away. So I really look forward to um, more feedback, more uh, telling me what to do next year because you know while we still we still have a lot of things to cover in the feedback portion um, you know to I, I need to catch up on all those things uh, man we're really growing a great list of what's next what's next what's next the community here you guys you who are watching right now guy or girl probably guy but I do have like 20% female ratio actually which is really really I mean I love it um, but yeah this tool is for absolutely everyone. That's my favorite part about it because Obsidian's Obsidian. Who doesn't want to have a second brain? Especially in the age of LLMs, you want to keep all your articles, your tweets, your this, your that in a text-based format. And now with System Sculpt, man, you can rem you can my my hope is like, man, have you ever had those moment those moments where you're like, man, what is that article from like 3 years ago that talked about like geez, what's that word? Um something with the brain, right? And you can just pop open your system sculpt, uh, you know, system search, whatever, and say, what's that note about the brain stuff? And then you can just traverse your vault and you can see, okay, neuroscience facts. Oh, here it is. Comprehensive overview of structure, function, and, and everything about neuroscience, right? And see, I didn't include the word neuroscience. I didn't include anything. I just kind of really spitballed, geez, literally what I'm thinking. What's the note about the brain, blah, blah, blah? And boom, I typed it, there it is, and it has every note within my vault that has absolutely anything to do with the brain, neurology, so on and so forth. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, video again tomorrow. Get that license if you can. Um, a lot of people have it already. Maybe you're next, right? But anyway, um, love you. <laughs> See you tomorrow.